So if you're having problems with your password here, you're trying to reset your Roblox account or your Roblox password, and the code is not coming, well, there are a few things that you may want to try. Now, if you've tried getting your uh, reset code, it's not coming. Well, what we need to do first is you want to make sure that you have the latest version of the app. Now, you want to open up Google Play Store, search for Roblox, and if you do see any updates, go and click on update and just update the app. Now, once you've done that, next thing that you want to do is you want to go to your settings and you want to go ahead and look for apps here. On their apps, you want to go and look for Roblox specifically. So uh, wait for a while for it to uh, fully load up. But let's go and just start searching for Roblox. If you don't see it, go back and just search for it again. You do see Roblox now? Let's go open it up. Now in here, you want to go and click on four stop. They see at the bottom left of your screen. Click on OK. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and go to specific settings. Now let's go and choose app permissions first. Now, under app permissions, you want to go ahead and basically access a few things. Like first, let's go and choose contacts here, allow. And basically, you want to go and just go through all the permissions needed in here. Click on allow while using app, go back, and go to notifications, and also allow that as well if you want to. So yeah, once you've done that, you can go ahead and basically go back in here. And what we need to do next is you may want to visit a few things, like for example, you can go and just try disabling the option here that says pause app activity if unused. And also, if you have this setting here, you may want to go to battery. And you may want to choose one option here. So for example, let's go and choose no restrictions here and see if that actually helps. Now, once you've done this, go ahead, open up the app and see if that helps. Now, if this doesn't help, it means that you may need to restart your mobile device. Now, this may not be obvious. So sometimes apps would actually malfunction if your phone has been online or is working for quite a while now. Let's just say like you're, you've been using your phone for two weeks and you haven't restarted your phone since then. Well, restarting your phone can solve a lot of issues, but that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.